What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is a video tutorial on Steam Idle Master. What is Steam Idle Master? It is a program used to simulate you playing games that have card drops so you can get the cards. Now you have to actually own the game, but this will make it so you don't have to download the game or run the game and get those card drops. So like as you can see here, I have 166 card drops remaining, 47 games with drops remaining. So I have, instead of downloading all 47 games and running them in the background, I can just run this program and it will automatically check those games and move on to the next game once it's done, has all the card drops, and give me the card drops. So let's test her out. First thing you want to do is go to this right here. I'll leave a link in the de description. You want to download the zip. And real quickly, this is by Jay Shackles, who is the mastermind behind Enhanced Steam, which you should definitely check out. I'll leave a link in the description. And we're going to download the zip file. And we're in Google Chrome, by the way, which you should be in. You have to be in Google Chrome for this tutorial. And we'll go to our downloads, and we'll Control x that. And we will paste it on our desktop for easy finding. But it doesn't matter where it's at. And we're going to right click, extract all, click extract, and we can delete the zippered folder. All right, now into our idle master for folder, click on that, click on that, and we want to go for settings right here. It's a text document, settings. And it's asking for two things. And we want to put these two things between the quotation marks. Session ID and Steam login. In order to find that, we want to go to Google Chrome. And we want to go to steamcommunity.com. Steamcommunity.com. And you want to log in. And you want to go to your profile. Mine's Chick Stigget, so I'm going to go Chick Stigget Profile. And just leave it on this page. Here's my profile. Make sure you're on your profile. You're logged in. Now, in the upper right, we want to click on this. Go to settings. Go to, at the bottom here, show advanced settings. Content settings right under privacy. And right under cookies here, we want all cookies and site data. Now, here we want to go search cookies. We want to type in Steam Community without the spaces, and this will pop up. Click on that, and it'll bring up your cookies here. Now, again, we want session ID, so we click on the session ID. And right here where it says content, we want to copy and paste that in there. Now, don't give this information out to anyone. This is your session ID and your profile login. So I'm going to control C and control V that right into there. Go back to Google Chrome and Steam login. Same thing, right by content. I want to copy and paste that. Highlight it, control C, control V. And then I want to go file save now again don't share these numbers with anybody don't trust anybody those are yours just keep them to yourself mine are blacked out so nobody can steal them or look at them or mess with my stuff all right so we're done with that we're done with that we're done with that and let's go back to our idol master now in order for this to work you want to make sure that your Steam executable is running. Not the Google Chrome, but your normal Steam where you have your library and stuff. And you want to make sure you're logged in. You don't have to be on your profile, you can be anywhere. So, Idle Master. Idle Master again. And this time we want to click on Start. And Run. And we should get a window that pops up. Finding games that have card drops remaining. Idle Master needs to idle 47 games, starting game Deus Ex The Fall to idle cards, sleeping for 15 minutes, and it pop another window pops up saying you're now in game Deus Ex The Fall. What this means is, it is idling for my card drops on Deus Ex The Fall 
And as you can see here, I do not have that game even installed, but it's showing that I'm playing it. Now, it says sleeping for 15 minutes. What that means is, in 15 minutes, it's going to check to see if Deus Ex The Fall has any card drops remaining. If it does, it'll go for sleep for another 15 minutes. Once there's one card drop remaining, it'll check more often. And once that's over with, it will switch to automatically switch to the next game until you have all your card drops. It works brilliant. One quick tip, if I close out of this and I click Control C, it will automatically go to the next game. Say I wanted Magic Crystals to be, and not Deus Ex cards. So Control C makes it, lets you switch to the next game. Works pretty nice. Um, hope that helps. Again, Jay Shackles, amazing. If you see that guy at a bar, buy him a beer or something. Give him a high five at, at the very least. Does amazing work. Again, the same guy behind Enhanced Steam, which you should definitely have. If you don't have Enhanced Steam, you're doing it wrong. Anyways, hope that helps. If you guys got any questions, put them in the comments. Talk to you later. Genius Pride Trap. Over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Giddy up!